Very nice. Thank you. Yes. Wonderful. So nice. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess, AKA Her Two Wheels, and I make motorcycle related content every single week. So it's been a couple weeks since I posted this video and I got a lot of really great feedback on that video. And as I mentioned in that video, if you haven't watched it yet, spoiler alert, this is not, uh, my channel is not a uh, how to grow on YouTube channel. My channel is a moto vlog channel and I say that in that video too. But I still got a lot of really concerned subscribers telling me that I'm, I'm already selling out and my channel is nothing but paid sponsorships and advertisements and I'm only doing it for the money. I mean, I like money a lot. Do you? I do. But there's no way I'm out here in freezing temperatures all the time. Not today, today's nice, but riding all through winter, breaking my back, learning new skills, creating content because the money's good. <laughs> Getting paid from YouTube on this side is like for sure a freaking bonus. That's rad, but there is no way I can make a living off of this, at least not at this point. So I kind of wanted to just talk about my experience so far and some of the misunderstandings that people seem to have about this channel. So first of all, I have a couple affiliations and you, you really don't even see those that much. They're kind of on the back end, behind the scenes type of stuff. So I'm not shoving things down your throat on this channel because somebody's paying me to. It's because that's what I want to talk about. The next experience that I've had so far from being a quote unquote YouTuber, the hate. Wow. It came, uh, it came out, kind of out of nowhere. Now I mentioned in like some of my really early stuff that I was, I was prepared. I was getting myself worked up for the hate mail. And then it didn't really happen. I had a lot of really, really great supporters. You guys that have been there from the beginning, you know who you are, thank you, have been like my ride or die. No, no pun intended. <laughs> you've been there with me from the beginning and you've been so supportive. And then I get comments like this. I'll let you pause and read that for a second. That comment was made on a um, on my what I pack when I go moto camping video. and. You know, yeah, so I've already kind of been recreating specific content over and over again, but you guys, we've been in quarantine. There's really nothing else I can do. And I want to keep making content. And honestly, the camping stuff, it, it literally changes is like with the wind. I'm constantly trying out new gear or finding new things on sale that I want to go test out and try myself. So the hate, man, like sometimes it is so, 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 so aggravating to just sit there and read the amount of time and effort that people took into just bashing you and making assumptions. Wow, making the assumptions. Sometimes I just wanna know your little uh, scientific method on where these assumptions came from because you got an active imagination, homie. But it's very easy to let a lot of that stuff roll off my shoulders because like I said, it is just assumptions and nonsense and just people being trolls which is fine. That's the internet. I'm 31 years old. I've been around for a while. I know what the internet is like. But as I've mentioned, and as almost every content creator mentions, on this platform, the good by far outweighs the bad. Now let's talk about sponsorships and affiliates and stuff like that. Now, yeah, I have definitely had people reach out to me left and right. I've had robots reach out to me left and right. You know, people are seeing my channel and seeing the gradual success. And I would agree with that statement. I think my channel has been gradually successful. I'm not blowing up on YouTube. Um, I'm still considered a small channel, almost a micro channel, especially on the platform of YouTube where people can get multi-million subscribers and just like the thought of millions and millions of people watching you, me, is kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. It's, 
and it does, I don't know why it scares me because I am a consumer. I watch you guys on YouTube. I watch some of the biggest YouTubers in the world and it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel weird that I watch them because I'm like, you're making the videos for me to watch. So blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I am the problem. That being said, I've been on a few podcasts. I've had a couple of interviews. I've done a couple, um, you know, online magazine interview questions and stuff. And I still haven't quite figured out how to answer the question of, wow, let's talk about your YouTube success. Let's talk about how you're blowing up on YouTube. And I, and I really don't want to sound like an asshole in these interviews, but I'm kind of like blowing up. Where are you, uh, where are you seeing that? Because I, I see my own analytics and I see a very consistent, gradual increase, which is wonderful. You know, that's what you want. Slow and steady wins the race in these things, but I'm trying to talk it out right now. Like, how do I, how do I explain that? I guess a blow up, I think of a blow up as, you know, getting 50 to a hundred thousand subscribers in less than half a year. That's a blow up. That's huge. You know, I think the this video that I'd mentioned earlier is performing really well for me, but I still wouldn't call it a blow up. I, hold on. Just wanted to get up that hill. <laughs> I wouldn't consider it a blow up. I would consider it myself doing the homework and realizing what I wanted to talk about, executing the content and interacting with you guys. And it's been pretty, I mean, for my standards, pretty successful. And it also tells me that you guys, even though a lot of you won't admit it, it tells me that you guys kind of like hearing the behind the scenes stuff of what goes into making these videos. And it really is just, I mean, what I'm doing right now, I'm moto vlogging. I don't care if you think that this is a video talking about YouTube again. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm moto vlogging. I'm on my motorcycle making a vlog. Moto vlogging. Oh, there's a good boy outside playing. Oh my goodness. Hey, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at the road, not the cute dog. And that's what this channel is. It's a moto vlog channel, seriously. And that's that's what I want it to be. I don't I don't want to be making content that you guys don't enjoy that I don't enjoy making. And some of the content is not necessarily moto vlog related, but it at the end of the day comes back down to motorcycles. Oh, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the, the thumbs up ring the little bell and subscribe to the channel because obviously that's how we grow. That's the fastest way. And I want to talk about Patreon too. That is a whole other monster on itself. And to the patrons that I currently have, holy hell, you guys, I, I don't understand that platform enough yet to be able to give you unique content specifically for patrons. But you know who you are. The people that have messaged me saying that honestly, it doesn't matter. You love what I do. You're really like really into myself, my personality, my energy, and you're just supporting me to support me, which is like, holy shit, that's the most humbling thing I've ever heard. And I love you for it. It seriously is eye opening to the power of friendship on the internet, but whatever. But Patreon, I do have a Patreon. Um, I will figure it out one day. I don't, I don't, um, this is not, please don't go, don't go over to my Patreon and start pledging money. I don't want you to do that just yet. Wait until I, wait until I have something to give back because I truly believe that it needs to be something special, something that you don't get for free on YouTube. But if you do want to support this channel, like literally doing those little things like subscribing, ringing the bell and liking and commenting is the number one way to support me. I've already talked about the algorithm and how powerful it is and how honestly dumb I feel like it is sometimes because here I am thinking I'm cranking out a banger video and it, it's a flop. It's a dud. Nobody cares. And it's like, damn, what do you want me to talk about? And then I create a video talking about the YouTube algorithm and it does really well. And I'm like, well, that's what you want. And I know that's not what you want. You want me to ride around, vlog, capture my life. And I'm, that's what I'm trying to do, especially during this quarantine right now. I'm trying to get out and capture relatively decent content for you guys. We still can't really go anywhere. That's changing. That's changing. Things are starting to open back up, which is very exciting. But yeah, so the Patreon thing, I'm learning. Hold on, don't don't go giving me all your money. I mean, if you want my PayPal information, that's 
that's different. <laughs> But no, seriously. Oh, this is a perfect time to mention. I actually have opened a P.O. box. Hey, P.O. box. I get a lot of people uh, emailing me constantly. They want to send me stickers or books or some of their just favorite trinkets and stuff. I didn't have a P.O. box, so I do now. I'm going to put the address on the screen, and it's linked down in the description below if you're interested in sending me anything to my P.O. box. It's small. I don't know how it works with actual packages, but it's there. It exists. Like I said, I still want this to be a successful channel. So yeah, long story short, this has just been an absolute wicked way to network with other people interested in the motorcycle industry. And thank you guys for supporting me, just wanting to do what I want to do. You know, I have yet to have... <laughs> Yeah, I've had a few of you guys comment saying some pretty inappropriate stuff about what my channel should be or what you want my channel to be, which is cool. You're entitled to your opinion, but I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I don't want to do a bunch of work. I don't want to do install videos and I don't want to do constant service on my motorcycle. I just don't want to. I just want to ride. You know, I'll take my bike to go get service when it needs service at the dealership and I'm fine with that. But yeah, I just want to ride. I just want to look at all the cute dogs and I want to go camping. God, I want to go camping so bad. And I want to hang out with you guys. I, I, I can't even begin to tell you the amount of endorphins I get when I have a video scheduled to post. And especially when I do premieres. But what was I saying? Yeah, back to networking, networking, networking. Dude, the networking. Um, I have some pretty cool, I don't, I don't know which way I'm going. I guess let's go this way. This looks nice. Anyway, networking, I've met some really, really cool people that know some really, really cool people, and I've had some really, really cool opportunities open up for me, which, hell yeah. Hey, <laughs> who, who doesn't want to meet cool people? Who doesn't want to have friends in high places? Like, uh, not to be misconstrued with I want to use people. Oh, that is not even the case. I've had some really amazing opportunities happen and some really amazing companies contact me wanting to be sponsors and affiliates. And at the end of the day, I'm like, whoa, wow, that's so humbling, so flattering, but that sounds like a lot of work. And I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the credit that you deserve or, you know, I want to make sure I'm not just taking people's money and not giving them a return on investment. Um, there's a couple other YouTubers, I won't mention any names, but I noticed like they had some really amazing sponsorships happen and they kind of just dropped the ball and it sounds like just out of sheer laziness and I really don't want to be like that. Um, and I'm not, I'm not like that. That's why I've turned down opportunities because I'm just like, this sounds awesome. I don't know that I'm the right person to represent your brand or stuff like that. And I hope those brands understand. Like maybe one day, maybe we'll work together and I really hope so. But right now I'm just a little old her two wheels ripping around on my Harley Davidson looking at the cute dogs. But yeah, I mean, here you go. Here's another YouTube related YouTube video. <laughs> Inception. Yo, those girls are up there in shorts. You guys, that's like 56 degrees outside right now. I'm pretty, pretty chilly. These young ladies are out here just with their knickers out. Booty shorts. Ah, they weren't too bad. Oh, yes. No, come back on the sidewalk. I want to see your dogs. Hey, let me see your dogs. Hi! Three doggies. Yo, can we do that? Like, if the outside becomes legal again, can we have coffee moto meetups and bring your dog? I support that. My name is Jess. In the year 2020, I support coffee moto dog meetups. Coffee moto dog meetups. I don't think that was the proper acronym, but you get it. <laughs> oh, ow, God, did you feel that too? Whew. So yes, my beloved subscribers, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, you're not my beloved, sorry, maybe next time. Let's, 
continue to create motorcycle content and just let me talk about whatever the heck I want to talk about. <laughs> I'm a brat. Not really. I enjoy you guys. Oi! Yeah, we're definitely taking the... That's brand new. Whoa, that was not here three months ago. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to take the long way home because I know there's dogs this way. I just know it. Dogs and babies and children crashing. Good job. Get back up. Shake it off. All right. Well, this is some absolute bullshit. Where are the dogs? Ugh. This place is all my other kids. Look, I don't want to look at babies. I want to look at puppies. Oh yeah. Here we go. I knew it. We little guys. Good boy. All right. Mission accomplished. Cute dog. Oh, that guy's mowing the lawn. I thought it was another dog. <laughs> I'm out of control. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you, good citizens. Oh, I don't want to hit that hole. Of YouTube for helping me, quote unquote, blow up. Nah, we're just growing. You know, we're like a happy married couple. The longer we're together, the bigger our belly gets. <laughs> That's what, I mean, it's true. There's another baby. Ah! Anyway, yeah. If you subscribe, if you like all that jazz, blah, 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 genuinely helps me out. You don't need to be a Patreon. You don't need to send me money, seriously. Just being a part of my YouTube family seriously helps me out. And it keeps validating myself wanting to create content every single time. I could create the shittiest video, and I have. You've seen it. <laughs> Just go look at any of my videos. And you guys validate that it was a good video still. So I keep making more and it keeps getting more exciting. And hopefully one day we get to hang out in real life. That being said, my name is Jess, AKA Her Two Wheels. I make motorcycle related content every Monday and sometimes Thursdays. It all just depends on my mood, I guess. Thanks for riding along with me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Question for my end screen crew. If we had a moto coffee and dog meetup, would you bring your dog in your car or on your bike? <laughs> I've seen those sidecar bikes. <laughs>